Hello everybody and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Alpha 18 with me Lady Shilab and Avak. Hello everyone. Hello. Look at my shiny new knife. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm so happy. Uh, very shiny. Right. Okay, so today we were planning on hitting a couple of points of interest, basically doing a couple of quests, given that we are actually uh, wanting for certain building materials, namely polymers, yes. really. Uh, at well, this point, and just any concrete we can find on the way as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and th at this point, for me specifically, concrete is a big con uh, sorry, uh, polymers is a big concern because that's how I make my steel arrows, and I am pretty much upgrading to those at this point. I'm not really uh, I'm caring to have everything else. Everything else away. May as well make sure you've got some paint. Oh, pills. I had 165 polymers on me apparently. You thief. No, it's fine. Uh, actually, more than that, they don't we? I'll take some antibiotics. Honestly, at this point, our armor is getting to the stage where it's unlikely that we're really going to uh, going to get uh, infections very frequently. Um, there are two um, stats on armors. Whilst uh, Lady Shilab is prepping, there, I can actually use just a little yeah. bit of time to just talk over it a little bit. Now, there's two stats that you want to take into consideration with armor. That is the armor rating and the effect resistance. Now, from what I understand, effect resistance is your ability to resist effect. Things such as bleeding, um, on fire, stunned, um, uh, actual uh, infections. Now, I'm not entirely certain how that is, is all worked through, but my gut tells me that when it's trying to apply an effect, Depending on the way the effect was applied to you, now, as far as we're, I'm aware, there are two ways that the game cares how something happens to you, whether it's range damage or melee damage. Range damage will actually look at where you got hit. If you got hit in the arm, it's going to check your arm armor. If you got hit in the leg, it'll check your leg armor. If you got hit in the head, it'll check your helmet. And at that point, it'll use the, the stat of that armor. So, for example, my helmet is only armor rating 9, and the effect resistance of 16. So if it was trying to apply an effect, then it would have to combat against my effect resistance. That might It might be some sort of percentage roll, and if it lands within like uh, one to 16%, then it doesn't affect me because I'm, I'm resisting it. Um, but in terms of melee, from what I understand, when you get hit in melee, it averages armor across your entire body and then just applies uh, damage based on that armor. So I, I would imagine that it's very similar with the effect resistance. That is, it'll average the effect resistance across all of the armor types you've got across your entire body, and then we'll um, use that to try and see whether you get affected by it or not. It's a... Uh, it took a lot of digging to get that information, though. Uh, so uh, mm. I thought I'd share it, just because if it took me a while to to, to find posts that confirmed that this was the way it worked, and even then, they, they, you know, some people say that they've dug into the game files, other people are just uh, talking about... Um, uh, just test things. If, yeah, they're just uh, kind of experience. Uh, what, what's the term when, it, when it's just observed experience rather than... Um, something that you you have empirical data for there is a word in english for it where yeah. <laughs> it, where the experience is is more something that you've uh, just observed in the world and they're like okay well this is good enough i i'm empirical? observing gravity no 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 well that's that's when you've got data to back it up you know the theory of gravity uh. versus gravity um anyway it doesn't yeah. matter i'm sure everyone can get the idea what quest would you like to go to Sheila? Uh, maybe one of the level fours. The level fours are fairly far away, I would imagine. Or should we get rid of my level threes then? Yeah, you've got a level three fairly close by, it looks like. Uh, it's two, only 282 meters away, so we should possibly head to that one then, yeah? Yeah, let's just do that one then. Okay, yeah, Sounds sure. Fine. I'm good with that. Womp. Let's switch over to this one. We'll just use the bike stand since it's so close. Yeah, it's so close. But yeah. Um, there in like two seconds. So with the, the whole thing with the uh, ranged and melee damage being dealt with differently, pretty much all zombies do melee damage. And it's a bit unknown whether the zombie cops actually do range damage when they spit or whether it's just melee damage that is projected at range. I know, 
I don't question it. It's just it's game stuff, okay? Um, but uh, we also have the question on uh, uh, vultures. But when it comes to players, uh, and this is something that, that became more of a, a concern for me to, to look up after uh, the uh, we started playing on the PvP server, well, you know, how does uh, the damage of the player does, how does that get tracked? And it, it pretty much comes down to... Yeah. If they uh, shoot you, then it cares which body part you got hit on. If it's melee, it averages it all out. Okay, ready to go if you are. It's a fetch and clear, so we've got to do everything. I'm fine with that. Fortunately. Are we going in guns hot or silent? Oh, you know what, we can go in guns hot. Why not? I mean, I'm, I'm fine with using my flaming arrows. I'm not going to lie. You can use them on the boars. It's just a load of boars in here. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Can I get a shot on you? I might be able to. Dunk! Nope. Oh, is she lab attacking it? No, I've got, I found another one. Fair enough. I think he couldn't get out of the hatch, which is marvellous. That isn't quite what I meant to do with my machete, but <laughs> sure. You know, just the decapitate thing. I mean, I guess it is sort of what I meant to do in a way. Let's no take you out. I really don't need the flaming arrows for this, do I? Let's go for the steel crossbow bolts. I don't, I'm not even sure I need the steel ones, really. There we go. Let's see if I got that bolt back. I did not. Much sadness. There we go. Okay, she labs just wading in there. So I'm just going to go straight yeah. up there. There's not much reason to worry about it. I will collect the pig meat on the way. That would be fun. Well, since yeah. it's a fetch and clear, we might as well get uh, everything killed and then start worrying about gathering, but I say as I stop to hack up every chunk of gore down here. Look, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but yeah, if we just uh, wipe out the zombies, and if we are going to be just wading in straight away, yeah. we'll just kill everything quickly. Probably should and then move take on. the meat off it, though. Yes, definitely harvest the boars. Because they will, uh, those uh, items will perish. Hello? Pop. Corpses will leave after a little bit, so we'll lose the opportunity to harvest them if we don't take it. Yeah. Looks like my... Uh, where is that? It's around here somewhere, through this wall, perhaps? What are you looking at? A false wall around here, maybe? Oh, no, it goes all the way up and all the way down, and uh, it, it's quite On the other side. this one, remember? You want to go yeah. out the window and round. Yeah, it just looks like my... Uh, it, it looks like my satchel was really close by. I mean, actual fact, it doesn't seem to be, to be that close. Okay, I guess we're going to be going in. I'm a bit wary of getting too close with the, with the machetes, though, because, you know... You might bleed. Machetes. Me, I might bleed yeah. you, yeah. Okay, going in. Okay. Nice. Well, the nice thing about bleeding is that they'll slow down once, they, once they're attacked. Yeah, rather than speeding up. Yeah. Which is quite nice. Well, they'll probably still have the rage effect, but it won't be as pronounced because they'll have a 10%... Uh, additional 10% slowdown. Okay, well there might be vultures on the roof, so I'm going to be a bit sneaky going out this window. Well, I've already gone out. Oh, okay. Well, I won't be sneaky going out this window. No, no, no. That would be crazy talk. Right, there is a zombie soldier here that I'm just going to plink in the noggin with a steel... Oh, never mind. I did anyway, but it's fine. <laughs> you jumped just Why as I was you? about to, to line up a shot. How are you doing back there? No, no, don't worry about I'm it. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm be just behind you, right behind you. That's yep. We're Hello, doing this what? a lot faster than we did last time, so that was kind of cool. Well, you know what? I can just take you through the bars, really. Uh, dunk. How I'm going to strip you. Uh, no, okay, can't, can't get in there to take no. your parts off. 
Sometimes you just can't. Oh, I, I absolutely will. I just can't go that way. Never doubt and have extra determination to get food. I see. Yank. Haha. -ha. There we go. There we are. Now to get back out is going to be a different matter entirely, but... Hmm. I should have come down on that side, really. Uh, maybe go through the wall? No, actually I can't go through the wall. I am indeed stuck. Wow. I did this to myself. I accept full blame. <laughs> uh, oh dear. It's fine. I'll I got an extra help you ball. In a sec. Oh, it's okay. I'll probably be out by the time you go back. On that note, though, didn't start the day the right way. My goodness. Need to cut down some delicious, delicious noms. Are there you out go. yet? No. I stopped to eat because I noticed that. Uh, I hadn't eaten and I hadn't had a drink yet. Can I walk through that? Shame, but okay. I'll be out shortly. I have an auger on me. No, my back. steel pickaxe is doing more damage. Oh, yeah. More single point damage on a steel pickaxe. There we go. Hello, Pess. Don't really care for it, though. Well. I already looted the purse. Oh, I see. Okay. Thunk. Right, there we go. I assume we go out. Or do we not? Do we go out this way? Oh, I got a book. Hang on. Let's see what that is. Yes, we do. Art of Mining, Volume 6. You're doing Art of Mining, aren't you? I am, in fact. Let me have a quick look. I've got six. Take 50% less damage from collapsing mines. So you can go ahead and use that. I will... Yeah, I know the last time we came through here, you worried that we actually needed... I think we I found the courier satchel for you. Uh, that you would need nice. to use... Um, you needed to break stuff to get in. But I'm finding that just a combination of crouching crouch. and things gets me through. Yeah, it... it yeah. You right? Yeah, I'm just go. not as good at crouching and, and stuff sometimes. And it takes me a little minute to work it all out. There you go. Yeah, no worries at all. Loads and loads. This is a really good one to have taken, actually, because we wanted polymer and concrete, and there's tons of boxes in this one. Yep. You up on the roof? No, I have just went through the door. Went straight down the stairs. Okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't gone down the stairs yet. I was just uh, checking things out over here. Straight towards the I believe the stairs, there then. was a box back there, but we'll loot that in a moment. Yeah, we'll go back for a loot. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Aries and the girls are walking up. Ah! Oh, you're gonna I need ran to back out of off. stamina! I ran okay. out of stamina! He's down. We're good. Nice one. Uh, we've got someone coming through this door. You know, rather than have them sneak up behind us, I'll just wait for them to get through. Actually, I'm going to stop waiting and I'm go around and take him up from behind. <laughs> I'm going to be patient, except that I'm not. Yeah, pretty much. There we go. And we've got someone in here, it seems, or it sounded like for a moment. Huh, no. Maybe they're Where downstairs. They Might be. Yeah, they're all downstairs. There's a feral. Oh, okay. Do you need my help? Or are you good? Yeah. Yeah, I really need your help. Come in. Attack him from behind. I right, got their attention. Right, the feral's down. Oh, there's, there, there were three. Oh. Now they're all dead. One of the ferals is down. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no I worries. ran out of stamina. I need to start putting some points into like my stamina and stuff. Have so a drink. Don't run out. Definitely have a drink. Have some food as well. Is your stamina decayed right now? Like, is, is it Just lower touch, than it should be? Yeah. I've got some grilled meat if you'd like some. No, I've got some grilled meat. I just needed to eat it. I ate a ton before we came out, but it still didn't seem to quite... Fair enough. Quite get up yeah. there. That's okay. Right then. Heading on through. 
Once again, we're just going to clear the whole area out first before we do anything else. Yeah. There's the uh, purse back there. And then we'll sweep through and take care of any unfinished business. Don't want anything sneaking up behind us, really. Did something break in over here? Or was that door always open? I don't know. I, I think uh, yeah, I was looking something at that. may have broken in, honestly. Because sure. that was a wall section that was demolished there. So yeah. it was definitely something that broke in. Um, oh, so we'll just go straight down into the... The super corn back section. here is amazingly worthwhile. Uh, some extra bits and bobs. Okay, moving on. I'm not expecting more to be down here. Oh, there will be. Uh, remember, that there's a lot of stuff in, in this area which you can discover. There are lots of hidden things around Oh, here. no, no, I mean, I meant in in the way of zombies. Oh, right, 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 of course, yeah. There we go. Right, I'm just going to run across it all. Just jump into Gracie's. Ah, oh, we lost a bag. My bad. I was going to say, you popped that backpack. So cool. Sorry. Hey, right. Grace. Going to move back. Yeah, going to be using her. my uh, flaming arrows. And let me know when you're ready. Okay, three, two, one. There you go. Nice and easy. Yes. Just like that. Go, little Gracie. What? What? What happened? Okay, I harvested the entirety of Grace in one hit. You are very that talented. Is... I must be very hungry. Uh, right. Okay, well, uh, we go then. And then we can just grab our gear. Now, remember, don't stray too far from the... the zone. Yeah, otherwise... Well, well no, we... I've got Return to Trader. Oh, you, I, uh, I don't, you because I didn't haven't got your grab supplies, my supplies so we need to, Yeah, we need to go back through and get your supplies. I won't I won't go too far out. We just come up in Grace's pen, so it's not the end of the yeah. world. It's I was just trying to uh, extract everything before I went in. Wow, level six knuckles. Interesting. Very nice. Some armor level as well. iron sledge. That's not too... Anything under there? No. Anything under here? No. Wonderful. Uh, little weapons bag. Impact bracing Very mod. That's always miss. a handy one. Barbed wire mod. Nice. Okay. Whoop. And straight out we go. Can we get up? No. Right. At this point, we could take our time, but. Not really going to, I don't think. There's no particular reason no. to. We want to get take any time. any polymers or any concrete we find, and then anything that we want to loot. Yeah, anything we can dig up, basically, or break down. I've got my wrench with me as well. Let's check, I got a spade. Yes, I do. There we go. Right. Now begins the looting. Do you know what? I'll start at the front door. You can do the basement, and I'll start at the. Okay. The open door. There was an open door, wasn't there, on the sort of ground floor? Yeah, sure on was. the ground floor. I just ran into some barbed wire, because I'm super clever. <laughs> no, don't worry. It happens. Right, I mean, if we just grab the supplies and, and we're only looking for the treasure room, we'd already be done with this place. Um, yeah, we would have just got Doug Grace's pen down, wouldn't we? Yeah, but there is just... A lot of useful materials in this place to collect. And that is, again, the polymers are the large part why I'm here. We're not going to get yeah, a lot. But cement from... is always handy. Yeah. And cobble, in, in fact, you know. Cobble is just stones that we can use on cement instead of cobblestone. Um, and of course, at our game stage, looting everything is worthwhile simply because we've got a good chance of getting something, something nice. On that note, am I wearing uh, I'm wearing my nerdy glasses? I should have brought my uh, lucky looter my, goggles. Lucky looter what goggles am I wearing? Here. I am wearing lucky goggles. 
No reason to keep these. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I'm going to be stripping down fairly soon. Now those uh, iron knuckles at level 5 is quite nice, I must confess. Uh, sorry, at level 6. Mm, yeah. I wonder what they're like. 13 damage. I mean, they're not really that different. Or, I'll be honest. Have you got what? steel knuckles at the moment? or? No, no, I, I got iron knuckles as well, but uh, mine are only level four, I believe. But if nothing else, I can probably sell them for a goodly bit of money. There we go. Grab a bit of cement when I can. How you doing up there, Sheila? Good, I'm just digging all the cement on the ground floor. All right. Got sacks full of cobble at this point. Getting a little bit of cement here and there as well. I will try and take apart a bunch of the machines as well where I am able to. Really? That's locked? I'm not going to bother trying to open that just for the trash area, even though I got an August schematic out of trash before. Hmm, maybe I should <laughs> actually open it. Uh, You're no. like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. And then you open it, it's like one piece of paper. Like, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a fear of, of losing out, of, of wasting stuff. Ah, damn it. Of course, I 100% forgot. I need to be tearing down every door that I see. Mm. Uh, what this door? I can't imagine this door will have brass fittings. Let's see. No, it does. Even though it doesn't show any brass oh. um, fittings it on the door. doesn't have like a handle or anything, but mm -hmm. it's still... It oh, still had a cool. brass doorknob. And that one that did have a brass doorknob did not. Hmm, I'm onto you, game. Some scallywag ways. Let's get through here. I guess there's only a chance that you'll get uh, nice fittings from things, but... Still... I do appreciate it when a game visually um, is visually consistent. Oh no! Yeah. I, oh wait, 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 wait! I'm dropping the blast on us. That's why. Uh, I'll just scrap the metal gear. There we go. Blast on you're coming with, and that means that wherever. Right, there we go. Yeah, the brass stone arms were on them. It's just I had no room in my inventory, so it was just being discarded. All oh, right, just a little knapsack on the floor. With it. Yeah, my inventory is very full at this stage. So any help you can offer with uh, the looting would be greatly appreciated. I've got some bullets for you, okay. for example. Um, that'd be cool. Barbed wire, more that sort of stuff. Mine's completely full as well now. Uh, yes. Well, you can make runs to the vehicles though. Yeah. Or can you not? Will that mess up your quest, though? It won't. Shouldn't. It? My quest is independent from yours the moment I accept it. Oh, meat steel. Okay, I think cool. so, yes. Well, I'll go and put all the stuff in the bike, and then I can take a whole load off you then. Mm hmm. Sounds like a plan. Good. To keep myself hydrated, may as well use these things while I'm going. And scrap them as I see them. Like at this point, I'm just scrapping down the uh, glass jars I'm finding. Uh, yeah. There is a boiled meat recipe over here. Not sure you're going to need it, but uh, it's there if you want it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Right, pipe can be scrapped. Can can be scrapped. Uh, hey, oh. Uh. Right, I'll drop a bunch of things into this old sink that you can then move on. Uh, cement, cobblestone, things that yeah. I'm probably not going to get more of in large quantities. There we are. If you want to grab things from the old sink. Wonderful. I will continue to tear stuff down. Not much in the way of polymers from that, unfortunately, but I'll talk. This wrench is taking things apart super fast. I'm really appreciative of this. 
May as well grab the short iron pipes because I can scrap that into metal. We don't really need to worry about being efficient with things like uh, metal scrap now because we've yeah. got so much of it. It's ridiculous. There we go. I'll also take these, me as well. I'll only take two hits from my steel pickaxe. And then I can scrap them down in a bit once I need more room. I'm not going to tear that down. There's really no reason to. Okay. We'll absolutely take out this, though, for the brass. That's been emptied. Uh, got anything in here worth me peeking at? See, I can't interact with that. Used to be that you could loot through bars, but that seems to have gone away. Not yeah, sure like why. the purse is through the bars. Yeah. I couldn't get that either. Yeah, I had to go up top in order to get it, go through the roof. Mm. It's strange, because I'm I'm absolutely certain that you used to be able to. Oh yeah, you used to be able to grab that, that purse downstairs through the through the bars. It's very, oh, very the last strange. time we played? Oh, okay, I didn't realise mm. that well, it uh, was the, that much of a recent graces. change. Yeah, last time we did Grace's quest. Didn't realise it was that recent of a change, I'll be honest with you. I was able to to get uh Oh no. What's wrong? I need a repair kit. I have got twenty-five. Now. Yay! I was fantastic to get one off there. Because that's quicker than going to the motorbike. Yeah. Should imagine so. I'll come out to you. Where back, you? back. Ah, there hello. You there you go. Thank you. Now, my kit should be through here, I'm imagining. Somewhere. Probably in this little... No, it's not in this little room. Okay, fair enough. Expectations not met. I know. Okay, I'm going to have to break this down as well. There we go. Extra splint. I totally want to take apart that door, so I'll just go through the wall. I can hear a zombie, though. You got eyes on it? Nope. No, I don't. Where is that crate? Because it's really close now. I will be honest, I'm very disappointed in the uh, lack of loot I have here. Here somewhere. Just remember, oh, it is only a tier three quest, so it's not like it's going to be super amazing loot like you get in the level four ones. Yeah, but I'm missing it's more something. Just to get this out of the way. Yeah. Is it? Surely not. Surely it's not in this wall. On the floor somewhere. I'm not noticing. I don't want to just start demolishing things. I want to solve the puzzle, but at the same time... It's getting rather annoying. Well, no, I'm, I'm just confused. Clearly there's something I'm missing. It appears to be in this direction. The moment I step over here, it's gone. I don't see any kind of texture difference. It must be in that wall somewhere, but... Alright. Probably somewhere in here. No. It's not. Where are you then? Down here, perhaps? Nope. Oh, hello. Did you find that zombie? Uh, more the zombie found me, really, but I think it regretted doing so. Yes. Where on earth is this crate? It's now showing down, so it must be downstairs. But I stopped. Oh, okay, well, fair enough. It's downstairs, huh? I'll go uh, through the regular part of this and find out where it is. But uh, that, is it, that's definitely Is it definitely downstairs on, this, on that half of the house or the other half of the house? So? Well, I was, I was skipping between the halves. It, yeah. The radar was mm -hmm. kind of pointing to me right into the, the wall of a, of a uh, archway. And it could have been there, but it, it, it's uncommon for it to be that well hidden. Like, you're usually not meant to have to 
just randomly demolish walls in order to find yeah. something. Kind of goes against the, uh, the the theme of the points of interest in a way. But I'm sure I'll find it. I'll just loot the rest of the house first. Found some zombies to, to snipe yeah. when I was on the rooftop. Oh, I'm going to be here for a while. This is uh, full of... No worries. Cement. Full of cement. That's fine. You know, the area up in the attic. Yeah. Also, the basement is going to be exactly the same. Both of them are completely chockers. Right now, I'm mostly tearing apart doors with their precious, precious brass. I'm trying to avoid being... Yeah, I, I knew you were coming. You snuck up on by a zombie. I don't think she'll survive. Those sneaky, sneaky zombies. Oh, she, yeah, there we go. She's done. Uh, could tear apart the the sink and the bath, but I think the toilet's really the only one worth tearing apart. As a general rule, since it does have uh, pipes in it, the sink you would assume does, but I think that at least the fancy toilets can have some decent stuff in them. Yeah. Nothing else of value there. But in here we've got a couple Just of things. Break it all up. down. But it is always like a balance, isn't it, between do I spend all of my time working on this thing or do I Really? <laughs> Damn it. What? I uh, <laughs> I was trying to uh cycle to my spade and I cycled one too far and I uh, pulled out my pistol and shot a shot. bag of concrete. Uh sorry, a bag of cobble. Well, you know, yeah, the you can't never trust those back of the couple, you know. I mean, to be fair, out. if one fell on you, it would be a pretty, pretty awful day. So it might be, it might be like a some kind of cobble mimic. I don't know. <laughs> that is a terrifying idea because the size of mimics is enormous. Ah, uh, imagine you're just you're just trying to to do a little spot of DIY. You reach, uh, you reach to open up the the, the bag of cobble you just bought from the builder's uh, merchant, and suddenly. <laughs> it's being all handsy with you and trying to stick you in its mouth. Rude. Get back to bed. Don't think there's much point in me taking about this, but I will just in case. Just to remind myself what these things hold. And there was nothing really. And uh, these are almost certainly not going to have anything in them as well. Okay, that's fully looted. Heading up to the attic now. How you doing, Sheila? Oops. What's wrong? No, I just uh, put a frame down and then it wasn't... Uh, and then it fell down. Oh, it, it wasn't stable, so it collapsed. Yeah. It right, yeah. Me. Can definitely hear some more zombies around the place. But yeah, I'm from that mini horde that I was shooting at earlier. Desperately unhappy with the uh, lack of loot uh, in terms of polymer. Really, really hoped for more. Mm. I mean, that isn't going to hide anything. It's basically giving you a clue that, that it fell off there. Because the game is trying to be realistic in, in the way it presents I things. found a little secret attic space. Yeah? Yeah. And I went up there with some frames and I found a level 6... Primitive bow. Maybe it'll sell for good. Joy. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Hooray. Oh, I know the attic space you're talking about. Uh, yeah, you kind of got to get up there with, with frames. Can I get through there? There we go. Can I get up here? Possibly not. Uh, no, I can. I'm not messing with you, matey. You can climb up over the... Over the... Ah. Over the roof a bit. Oh, that's so annoying. You are right. Yeah, but like when you line up a lovely, a lovely shot, and then you you go to take it and your weapon's not loaded, it's yeah, just no. so embarrassing. It's okay. <laughs> Everyone has an off day, Sheila. It's fine. It's all right. But I do that quite a lot. It, it's a very good habit to be in to reload your weapon. Yeah. No games like Seven Days. Kind of contributes to the idea that um, 
just reload every time you've got a a bullet missing. Yeah. The, the act of reloading is basically casting your magazine away if you're fast reloading. And, you know, you, you've got a magazine there with, with X many bullets in, and you're like, ah, I, I'm down one bullet. Just throw a you know, practically full magazine to the ground. It's like, hmm. Not sure this is as, as good in your as, as you think it is in your head. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Did you go and harvest that corn? In uh, there? Here you go. There's the. Um, oh, wonderful! Thank you. Recipe there, and yes, I would like to. Whoop. Come here, Supercom. Oh, pow! Thank you. That's two Supercom well, that for me. We can grow super corn, can't we? Already are. Yeah. That's it's actually really, really good because it's it restores more um, uh, stamina or satiety than the uh, than the grilled meat, like a, mm. a decent amount more. Well, you can't it's do anything else with it, but so you can't further process it, which is a shame because I can only imagine what a meal made of super corn would be like. But. Yes. Uh, Super corn, yeah. hobo stew. Why would you mind going to hobo stew? I don't know. It just sounds. My lord. I like the I like the sound of the name. Oh, okay, fair enough. I mean, hobo stew is made of dead people, so it's yeah. like, hmm. This is your dead people and super corn that is also made of dead people. Wow. Yeah. And boss. That's actually a good point. Well, we don't know that it's all made of dead people. Ooh, lucky loser, volume one. If you know where to look, you can find money just laying around. Find more dukes in loot. Uh, I th think that's something we're both learning. Let me double check. Let me have a look. Yeah, so lucky yeah. looter. We're both learning that, I'm fairly certain. Have you got that one already? No, I no. I was checking to see if uh, it was one for that uh, I already had. But uh, Well, sorry. I, I knew from the, the look of it that it was one that I didn't have because it showed a full block. But I was just checking if Lucky Looter was something yeah. that we were both learning or was just you. Uh, will these break down into anything worth it? This is surprisingly not amazing loot from something like this. I am a little bit disappointed. Like, really not amazing loot. My lord. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, okay. Carrying on then. I mean, this bag is apparently... down... Here somewhere. It, oh, this is so, so infuriating. I know. I've had times where it's been just so incredibly difficult. Let's pull apart all of these. I think that's pretty much it, though. Uh, it's just a basement now that has a bunch of stuff in it, but I'm going to have to do a real hard look for that one thing that apparently is here. It's flashing as if I'm stood on it. Most vexing. Unless I remove one of these cabinets in the kitchen and I'm like, oh my god, really, it was there all along. I don't think it is. Are you in the basement, Sheila? Yeah. Okay. Well, at the very advanced least, this is going to... bellows? What are advanced bellows? Uh, well, it's basically what bellows were. All oh. bellows are now advanced bellows for all oh, intents and purposes. Um, but That's they're much harder to I make than special, they used to be. Special bellows, but no. no. Basically, they're no longer a requirement to make certain things. The, the, the bellows used to be a component in a forge, but now it's, a, it's an item that you use to enhance a forge. If you have Fair it, enough. then the, the forge is significantly um, faster to work. Fair I'm just going to break enough. these splints down. So Not we'll stick those in one of our forges and it'll work a lot faster. Yeah, we've already got one awesome. in, in one of the forges. Yeah, but having two is better than one. Oh well, yeah, no, absolutely. I was just meaning that you can already see the effects to some yeah. degree in the forges that we've built. Uh, Is it only one set we've got so far? Yeah. As far as my way. Right, this is my hope that this thing is down here somewhere. Ah, oh, really? It's right there. 
You scoundrel. It wasn't really obvious, was it? Yeah, well, it was just on top of all of that. It's just so, so vexing. Uh, right, I'll go grab all of the cement for you. Oh, thank you. Can't pick up the broken glass, unfortunately. Uh, have you got cobble in your inventory? Yeah, can we swap? Yeah, I'll drop the cobble then. Um, do you have any... Well, actually, I've got, I've got, I've got enough room for, to pick up a couple of things. I'm just going to quickly grab the super corn. I've got no room. Do you need blueberries for anything, or can I just eat them? <laughs> Get them out of my inventory. Um, save them. But okay. I've got some room that you can give me stuff if you'd like. Okay. Um, can I can I give you that broken glass then? Yeah, sure. Or I'll just drop it or whatever. Yeah, I that's just fine. Want room to basically uh, just get if the rest you of the concrete. Can't carry. All oh, right. Okay. So you want to collect that's the all. cement? I'll leave that that pile of cement yeah. there then, so that you're gathering it all into one pile. Yeah, that is great. I'll go I've around got and a couple break of thousand of cement now. That's really good. Oh, that's wonderful. I've got virtually no polymers. I'm so disappointed. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Empty destroyed generator, destroyed battery bank. Nothing in there. Did you manage to pick up any polymers during this? No, I've kind of been leaving most of the boxes to you. What was that, sorry? Um, so I have a, I've got 10 polymers on me. That's it. Have we lost G-Lab? Uh, I think we may have, actually. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll type to her in a moment. You can't hear me. Oh. Well. And she's probably going to respond with, I can't hear you either. Oh, no. <laughs> Bloody Discord. That's fine. I'll just grab the last few bits and bobs over here. And we should be okay. And then I will... I'll tab out and see if I can... Uh... <laughs> yes, I am. Indeed. Uh, yep. I'll just quickly hop over to Discord and see if maybe oh, there is an issue there. Good old Discord. Hello. Are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Ha! Results. Oh, wow. How weird. I had to uh, leave the call and rejoin it. Well, that's fine. Well done. <laughs> There was a moment where you uh, you were halfway through saying something and it just kind of went... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then there was nothing. It was like, hmm. It wouldn't be a good recording of Seven Days to Die without some kind of technical issue, right? I know, right? No, I must say, the fact that you were like, hmm, yeah, Abug has been uncommonly quiet, but no, nah, probably, probably everything is okay. He's probably just Scandal. like getting into a zen moment, uh, digging up some <laughs> diggy, diggy concrete hole. or something, you know. Yep. Uh, I've got a bunch of uh, cement over here. Wonderful. Where are you? Over here. Just got that down. Uh, so there. There's a bunch of stuff there. I've just made a little bit more room in my inventory. Well, I noticed that you're dropping cement as well, actually, over here. Oh, dear. Hmm. That's fine. Yes. I've made a little bit of extra room. Uh, I'll come and grab this. You go back to your digging. We'll be fine. I can grab the cement from now on. Uh, if you, you want to go for the cobblestone. I not to, to go for the bike. Um, but I might have to go back to the bike one more time. Oh, that's fine. We're almost done with all of this now. And I do have a little bit of extra room. Look at she uh, making more work for me. I know. Going for the stuff that you know she can't carry, the scoundrel. In fact, what uh, I could do, though, is uh, drop any yep. scrap polymers for you to pick up, because you'll oh, well. have piles of that. Uh, yes, please. That would be great. Yeah, There's so I dropped, actual I that, and that concrete mix in that uh, cement mixer. Oh, fantastic. I'll grab that, then. Uh, hmm, what can I drop? Things that don't matter to me. One feather. I can uh, drop that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to drop this one into doorknobs because honestly, that's going to be a decent. Well, I'm not even going oh, to break no. down the uh, faucet because that does break down into decent stuff. The springs, I guess, I can I can break down. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Give me a little bit of extra room. Uh, have you got anything back here? I don't think so. Is it strictly? 
Uh, oh, I picked up the fan again. Is it strictly uh, necessary to take back all of this? All of the stone and cobble that we've got here? Or are we good at this uh, point? We could just leave it and, and then take on another quest later. Yep, that uh, sounds and just, good to and me. And just grab stuff yeah. from that. The game wants me to have springs. Uh, try a... <sighs> Why didn't I find you earlier? Lucky goggles. Damn it. Oh, well. Right, what's in the munitions box today? Oh, you did remember to grab that. Excellent. I'm really glad about that. A pocket mod, some of my ammo, and some magnum ammo. Hmm. Not bad. Pick edit it up. up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're both being very stubborn at this point, and it uh, is like, to our I detriment. Will not, I've I got, will not drop anything. I know. I've got some ammo for you, though, if you'd like to come grab it. Mm, sure. There's your ammo there. There's still some stuff in the munitions box because I can't pick it up. That's right. I'm going to leave that feather. I refuse. I refuse to pick up that feather. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Now, do I have anything that could take that pocket mod, I wonder? I don't think so. I think all my armor no, has I pocket mods on it. I put triple pocket mods on, like, everything. I have space on, so... Yeah, pretty much, pretty much the same here. Magnum ammo I don't really need to be carrying around. I should weigh those though. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Aha! Now what I can do is I can stick this die in here. Now the the reason, if you're wondering why I wasn't breaking down the die, is that there was no particular reason for me to break down the die because it would still take up the same amount of inventory spots. That is, I would suddenly need to be carrying um, uh, paint in my inventory. Yeah. Uh, Sheila, have you got anything like um, rotten meat and that sort of stuff? Yeah. Okay. Then what I would say is... Have you also got... Um, uh, like fat and the likes? Yeah. Okay, well, then would you like to be the one to break down the bodies around here? Yeah, except that I already fell in the hole. <laughs> okay, no worries. I'll take it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna be able I thought to... we, I thought we were all just so full of stuff we just wanted to get out. So I, I was just there like, are I just headed out. Bags and bags and bags of cement. Like if there was anywhere to gather cement from, it's here. I'll go put my stuff in the motorbike while I'm, <laughs> you know, at the top, and then I'll come I'll back do the same. through or whatever. I'll do the same. It's okay. It's it's actually a lot easier to go up by going back out of the house than uh, the other way. Get over there. Boop, boop, boop. Now I don't need to worry about the quest anymore. Yeah, it's a bit easier then, isn't it? Yeah. The moment I grabbed the White River supplies, honestly, I should have just come straight out and uh, dropped things off. Being a bit stubborn, honestly. Uh, there we go. Let's get all of that in there. Everyone's stubborn sometimes. <laughs> my my motorbike's all, all full the time, now, but I've now got a few spaces that I can things with. Oh, let's... Excellent. Okay. Okay. Heading back. Gonna try not to get bleeded by the... Uh... Wild wire. Wild wire. I jump oh, hello. Into it every single time. Hello, Zomble. I'm here, though. That's right. What? Pow! Machete to the face. Twice. Thrice. There we go. I mean, I missed one of the shots, but I'm getting used to it. Okay, give me a break. It's been a long time since I've uh, primarily fought with the machete. But one thing about the machete I really like is it's got a really impressive reach. Oh, really? oh that's a knife. Okay, I'll go in through the door. How are you doing, Sheila? I'm coming round. There we go. And we're back in. Done and indeed done. The nice thing about the munitions chest is that it did give me a uh, a piece of forged steel. 
thing with that is it's not really as important to us anymore. But it's still nice to get because it still takes a lot of effort to... Um, oh, a lot of iron to make it. <laughs> what's wrong? Me. Oh, what's I was trying wrong? To do the, trying to do this stupid jump onto the pig thing because you took the doors away. Oh. Yeah. Why are you going up that way? Well, I don't know. I figured that was the way to go. <laughs> it's okay. You go whatever way you want. You. Whatever way you take is the right way. Good. Thank you. Is, is that is that an arrow? You're like, there's a super secret extra secret way that's way better. No, I just went through the door. I mean, at this point, we've, we've just opened up so many entrances. It's not... Uh, yeah, but I went really through the door, but it was anymore. to the wrong side of the house. I think. Oh, right, well, yeah. Like a... Yeah, that's fair. I went around to come in the other side. But uh, again, uh, it's just an axe to a wall at this point. I mean, it was an, it's an axe to the wall if you don't care about going through the the uh, zones in the right order as well. Yeah, exactly. Right, oh, I'm the... here now. I'm ready to... I'm ready to take some stuff. <laughs> on the plus cement. side, regardless how you got over there on this side, it was uh, a bit of extra extra practice in getting through the zone. Exactly. Okay. We are it going to come out of here with an enormous amount of cement. Yeah, it and that's always be. handy when you've got a giant concrete horde base to build. So yeah, yeah. I did make a point of before uh, we got down to things. I put sixty minutes worth of fuel into every furnace that had something to smell. That's because you are a good avac. Thank you. <laughs> I try. Uh, so we, even though we've spent pretty much all night just demolishing this place. We should get back to a lot of materials yeah. ready to go. Yeah, and that's what we need to be doing, like going and gathering materials while they're processing, and then we go and build with them. Yeah. Uh, helmet light mod, that's not too bad. I'll stick that nice. in there. Football helmet, sell it for a pretty penny. I really should be making all sorts of like pocket mods and things for clothing. Yeah, but there's all sorts of stuff you should be doing, but it's like... Where do you find the time, you know? Uh, yeah, true. Where do you find the time just to sit in your base crafting all these things for the trader when you should be out doing, like, missions and stuff? And, yeah, trying not and to be eaten by zombies. Voice and, yeah, yeah. trying not to be eaten by zombies, exactly. Welcome to my life. If you do want to maximize your profit from the trader, though, absolutely put as many mods into an item as you can. It mm. seems to drastically improve the, the value of those of those items well beyond the value of the mod itself which i can only assume in most cases is well beyond the value of the um components used to make it but might not always be the case so you know definitely worth checking Ooh, bump. grab the last bits of last bits of bodies and stuff bodies yep want to get all of that precious precious uh rotten meat, meat. And that's for so your farm plots them. isn't it yeah. There is some very dubious farming methods in this game, I will admit that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Like GM corn made out of, like, dead humans and dead I, zombies and I dead mean, wars and, you know, and... I, as someone who has on occasion, you know, taken to the green fingers, and uh, I'm just going to say that if, if fish blood and bone fertilizer is good for the plants... I can only assume the human blood and bone fertilizer is equally good, if not more so. Just saying. I don't know, it probably depends on the nitrogen content and things, really, isn't it? That is a fair point, yeah. I mean, there is a science to this sort of stuff. Right, okay, so I am ready to head back. You got your bike? Me too, once I get to my bike, yeah. Okay. Further away. Nice little point of interest. Really, really do enjoy this one, but it is a long one. The GM yeah. corn is going to be quite nice, though. You can use yeah, that yeah, to, more uh, of that is handy. To make some more to plant. Because, again, GM corn is just amazing. It it fills you up about half as much as a meat stew, just from one ear of corn. You just straight up eat it. No more processing required. It's just good. See, and that after that, I've got one more level three to take, and then that will be that will be it for the level threes. And we'll just be on level fours then. On the topic of supercorn, let me just harvest some. 
Actually, I'm going to move that corn seed. I want that one to be over here. Right there. Donk. Blueberries. I need some more potatoes now as well. Yeah, we've got two lots of advanced bellows already, actually. This will be our third I'm lot. It's fairly certain that you can make them. It's ah. not actually difficult to make. It's just that uh, you've got to get the materials. Uh, sorry, the um, schematics and stuff to make them. But I believe we have them. I'm not sure. Uh, why don't you just type that into your crafting and see what you come up with. Okay. Bellows. Yeah, you can make them, but you need uh, to have the schematic. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Right. Dropping off a feral whack of materials here, including a thousand yeah. cement. Um... We probably sh uh, we do have a chest, I believe, over by the... Yeah, we do. There we go. Over by the... Um, for all the cement stuff, Cement yeah. mixes for, the, for all cement uh, odds and sods. Put that in there. Get some more pills. All right. That was not bad. Uh, I do want to get some dye, though. Got black dye? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Look, fashion souls is important, okay? Don't judge. It is indeed. Uh, I will leave my lucky looter goggles in there. Um, along with a couple of odds and odds. Uh, just for a bit of work that we can do. Now, I'm going to grab all of the stuff that I can carry. Get all of that back in here, sort that out, and then with the remaining time left in this episode, we'll probably head to the horde base. Maybe we'll a little, a little bit, bit of work. There. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. Ended up with a lot of iron, actually. An awful lot of iron. Wow. We got a lot of materials. It just like I know you you were a bit disappointed with how much polymer we got, but we got a lot of other cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am. I am genuinely quite. But saddened by the, the small amounts of pollen when we came back with, but I guess, you know. It might be other places to have worse. more of those boxes, or we get a bit luckier with stuff, or whatever. Yeah. The 20 doorknobs, though. That wasn't bad. Got the glass there. Got magnum ammo, but no magnum to use it in. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a look at these brass knuckles. They sell for a decent amount. I will repair them and sell them. Uh, actually, uh, you know what? I'm going to keep both the uh, level 4 and the level 6 brass knuckles because they're individual instances of a of a specific type of weapon. I do like to try and preserve those where possible. Yeah. Right, there we go. Now you've got a crazy amount of cement. You've got 3,101. No, we don't. Because I've got another 3,000 here. Oh, my Lord. We have 6,000 cement, which is oh, a load of enough. stones that we don't have to dig out. Uh, yeah, but we are still going to need stones to be able to turn that into. Yep. So what we might want to do is if there are stones going into the, into here, we might want to stop them, but... No, no they, okay. they've all been done. That's, that's the problem with me being No, no uh, that's fine. That's fine. So what we'll do, we'll get the auger and we'll just get a whole bunch of stones again, but then we won't have to use them for making cement. We can just be like, yeah, for now, no more cement to be made. Yep. Uh, we're still breaking down... That is fine by me. ...the clay in there. We're actually almost done with the clay. That's nice. pretty impressive. Reasonably happy with that. What are we doing over here? We are done over there. That's iron and lead. We have lead. Oh! Pair of steel knuckles. Uh, very low damage. That's Honestly. why I put them in the smelting thing, because they were such low level. I thought they probably yeah. wouldn't be too great. Yeah. Yeah, that was completely the correct choice to make there. Not worth us having. There yeah. Okay, not too bad then. I'm reasonably happy with uh, the return there. I am going to make... Do we have enough? Oh, we have enough for an extra potato seed. Hallelujah! 
Woohoo! We've been waiting to get that. S slow going, building up the uh, the potato seeds. Again, a good uh, little farm going, but we're getting there. I've got one the level six primitive seed. bow in the in the cell chest because I think that's what we should do with that. A primitive bow? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. It, it, yeah, that isn't actually. It's a like bad high idea. level, but it's it was well, a wooden bow. Sorry, not a primitive bow. A wooden bow. That's like the basic one, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. If it was a if it was just a primitive bow, I would have said, nah, maybe not. But a primitive a bow. Wooden is fine. bow. Uh, sorry, a wooden bow is fine, yeah. Wooden bow is fine, cool. Uh, just because that is a, a real a, weapon, as far as A nice steel fire axe in, a uh, level 4 steel fire axe in the... Um, Very nice indeed. And that's a point of interest, so that was pretty cool. Very nice. Oh, actually. What did I got for? Never mind. Perfect. Um, given that, then, I'm going to say... Well, another two super corn seeds. We'll expand that out. Right, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to expand out our little farm a bit. Iron arrow. Let's go in here. Uh, yeah, we'll make this one a nice three deep farm. Could probably plant some more mushrooms as well, but I don't think we really need that many mushrooms being grown. No. So uh, once we've actually set up a proper little base, I'm probably make some like um, sun shaft chimneys. Oh, to so there's so like can, light in for yeah, a farm. Yeah, grow underground. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. Whereas previously we basically just took the ceiling away and put it in iron grills so that it got direct sunlight on yeah. everywhere that was growing you don't need even remotely that uh, you can have just a sun shaft that will spread enough natural light around to have quite a lot actually it's, it's something like five tiles out from the center point where the light is coming down that you can grow um plants in or some, something around there very it's nice. very very expansive it's actually really really good yeah how many blueberries do we have currently well, I put an extra one in there, but uh, we have nine. Okay, uh, I will plant an extra blueberry, blueberry plant then. So we'll have three. There we go. Morning yes. has arrived. Now, I have completely lost track on when the next Horde Knight, the earliest point that the Horde Knight can arrive at. Uh, so you'll have to forgive me. In saying that, uh, yeah, maybe it's Horde Night tonight. I don't know. We'll find out in about four <laughs> in-game hours. We are so screwed. <laughs> uh, We're so unprepared right now. We'll just be. We we'll just have to have one of those like. Um, <laughs> di -di 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 just running around <laughs> on, a, yeah. on a motorbike. <laughs> Spend the whole night just 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 fleeing. I mean, you know, not necessarily the worst thing that we could do. But that's going to be it for today's episode. Really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining us for the next, where we will be doing what, Sheila? What do you think we, we should do? We will be building the horde base with all this concrete that we've got. So, you know, we won't be... So maybe just get a few stones, get a bit more crushed sand, and we're pretty golden for getting all of that done. Okay, well, that will be the plan then. Tomorrow's episode is pure work on the Horde base. You're building. Hope you're looking forward to it. Hope to see you in that episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. And keep being awesome. <laughs>